A human being should not have to do what a machine could do. Paradism aims at giving all the jobs to the machines to free the people from having to work. Paradism is a new society for a world without work, without money, without government, a paradise on earth. It is all made possible thanks to our technology and the automation of production where robots and machines are progressively able to do all the jobs that human beings do. By applying technology wisely and widely, we could not only eradicate poverty, but bring about a society of abundance where everyone's needs can be met without having to work and earn money. Even though technology makes us more productive, even though we produce always more at a faster pace, we observe many more people getting poorer and governments imposing tougher austerity measures. Why is it that we can produce more abundantly, but we are required to endure more austerity? The answer is very easy. It is called redistribution. We have a system that is unable to distribute the abundance it can create. We are getting more productive and less people are required. That would be good if the unemployed were not excluded from the consumption of production. If you don't work, you are denied access to the abundance the technology can provide. To make things worse, the middle class, those who still have a job, are progressively disappearing and getting broke too, as the competition for fewer jobs is drawing wages down. The decrease in purchasing power of the people is not good for business either. Many businesses that can't sell enough have to close. That increases unemployment. We are spiraling down and asked to endure more and more austerity. A small percentage of the people seem to do very well though. Those who own the technology and the means of production, the capital owners, are making a lot of money and reap most of the benefits of the increased productivity. The corporate profits soar while the wages go down. Technology is creating more poor and widening the gap between rich and poor. A minority of super rich end up owning the larger share of the wealth. Eventually, even the rich will go poor as the system will block completely. Like the game of Monopoly, at the end the winner has ruined all the other players and even the winner loses as he cannot collect any more income from the players who are broke. The game stops and everybody loses. And this is how the end game of capitalism is looking. This system is making us broke and unable to afford what we produce. We are imposed more austerity as we sit on a technology that can provide us abundance. There has to be a better way. We must be able to distribute to the population a production that is getting increasingly automated. Not the production that our decreasing purchasing power can afford, but the production that can be produced by the full use of our fantastic technology. How can we distribute the coming abundance? This is the real issue today. It is the most important issue. Many will suffer a great deal and violent revolutions will keep erupting. The longer we wait, the more painful it will be. The solution is very simple. There are not dozens of them. A real solution, and the only real solution as we will see, would be the nationalization of the means of production and its counterpart, the end of copyright and intellectual property laws. The word nationalization could be better replaced with communitization. Since the concept of nation is meant to disappear, along with the frontiers that separate us. If the community owns the means of production, it is the whole community that benefits, and not only a few. If the means of production are owned by a minority, or even a majority of people, they will seek profitability, so as to retrieve income and privileges. They will not seek to reach a state of abundance, but they will try hard to guarantee their profit by maintaining a state of scarcity to keep the prices high. They will continue to do what they are doing now with the limitations of production and the protection of markets. 
They will continue to manufacture products that are designed to fail after a while to ensure the renewal of the markets. The owners of the means of production will understandably want to preserve and extend their privileges. They will be an obstacle to the arrival of total abundance and it will be at the expense of the whole community. If the means of production belong to any group of people, there are no warranties that the whole community will benefit from the abundance they can provide. Therefore, the communitization of technology and the means of production is the only path to the state of abundance. Anything short of that and humanity will experience a class struggle of high intensity between the technology capital owners and the non-capital owners as the gap separating the two will only widen with technological progress. Some propose different solutions to the redistribution problem, a tax on Wall Street, a basic or universal income. They are all ways of taking money from where it is, from the rich and giving it to the poor. They might be useful and might perhaps improve the life of many, but they are not real solutions. They are like band-aids that treat the symptoms, the injustice, but they are not addressing the cause of the injustice that makes the redistribution so necessary. They change nothing fundamental to a system that tries hard to repel the abundance so the rich can get richer. Technology will continue to make the middle class diminish and get poorer. The super rich will have to be super taxed to give money to the poor, who will spend it and give it all back to the rich. The problem, of course, is that the rich don't like to be taxed and the poor don't like to be poor. The society will be increasingly polarized. The two classes will be in huge conflict. Notice how we are already amidst the end game of capitalism and the poor are taking to the streets. The communitization of the means of production is the real game-changer solution. It replaces the core values on which capitalism is based that are becoming obsolete and destructive. Competition, ownership, power, profit, making money and growth will be replaced by cooperation, sharing, caring and balance. That competition brings better results, more innovations, and progress is untrue. A company where employees compete with each other will not perform as well as another company where employers work as a team. For society, it is the same. We achieve better when we work as a team. The open movement is a great example of how people who cooperate with each other in a self-directed manner can innovate and deliver free products, software and hardware, with the best performance of the market. It is a wonderful example of how paradism could work. With cooperation, we are all winning. There are no losers. Some may win more than others, but the whole team wins. When the pie can be made large enough, we don't have to fight each other for a slice anymore. The communitization of the means of production will bring social justice and bring an end to the class struggle and to a system that makes the rich the beneficiary of the gains of productivity. It will give birth to an egalitarian society where everybody can have the same access to consumption and nobody will lack anything. The communitization of the means of production includes the communitization of the production of money. To have put the creation of money in the hands of private interests has allowed a small elite to enslave the people and control the nations through debt. The community, by reclaiming the right to create its own money, can create all the money it needs, interest-free. As long as we have the resources, the know-how and the willingness to do it, there should be no more shortages of money to finance a project. The question will not be to know whether a project is profitable or if there is enough money to do it, but rather how much it will contribute to our well-being and happiness and whether it is worth our time and energy. What the community owns or produces can be made available for free. We don't pay for the roads when we use them because they belong to the community. The price of something is linked to private property. 
The communitization of the means of production means that everything can be made available for free. It makes possible the transition to a society without money. The communitization of the means of production also entails the end of copyright and intellectual property laws. Everything, every new creation, every new idea can be duplicated around the globe instantly. The rise of 3D printing free from copyright laws will tremendously facilitate production, bringing a state of abundance far quicker than capitalist corporatism that tries hard to prevent it. So inventors, creators, artists, give away and share your creations with humanity. You will be the pioneers of a new era of giving and sharing. What you give you will receive back multiplied by all the thousands who will follow in your footsteps. By giving, we help the disappearance of money. The more we give, the sooner money will disappear. Previous attempts of communitization have been very dramatic and have led to millions of deaths, but this was due to the authoritarian character of the governments. In paradism, there is no government that rules the people and enforces laws. Everything is done on a voluntary basis. Human beings, when self-directed, will naturally cooperate with each other to create conditions not only for their survival, but for an optimum society where the needs of everyone can be met. In paradism, the communitization will not be enforced. The end of copyrights and intellectual property plus the ability to finance any worthy project will allow the community to take control of a production if needed. For example, a life-saving drug could be manufactured by a community-owned enterprise and made available for free without actually having to buy the company that produces it. A society of abundance without work and money does not exist without the communitization of the means of production. It is a necessary condition. It is the most critical step towards a paradisical society, as the technology is mostly benefiting those who own it and is deeply polarizing society. It is one initiative that will bring social justice and allow the production of abundance. The end to capitalism will be marked by the revolt of the people who are being excluded from the wealth and abundance that our technology can provide. Our message to protesters would be to enact the communitization and not settle for less. The lasting social peace can only come with the communitization of technology and the means of production. It is also the key step towards the creation of a society of abundance without work and money. There is no other viable option. Paradise is the only future for humanity.